talk to you about um, Thanksgiving and give you a Thanksgiving message from my family to you. Uh, I hope that you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. For all you Canadians who have already celebrated Thanksgiving, I hope yours was wonderful as well. And I really wish you guys would move yours back to the same date we celebrate ours so that the retailers wouldn't start advertising Christmas quite so early. It's kind of funny. Thanksgiving has always seemed to me to be the holiday that retailers overlook. And I, I think they're making a big mistake there. You see, Thanksgiving is an important holiday. It might be the most important holiday for every man out there. Now, I, I know you're wondering what I'm thinking, and I realize that uh, I don't think like most people think, but let's talk about Thanksgiving from my point of view. Um, setting Thanksgiving aside, Christmas. Christmas, that means I have to work real hard and come up with money to buy presents for people. Some of who I care about deeply, some not so much, but I still feel obligated to buy them something. Um, Easter. Easter, they want me to go out and buy a new suit, so I look my best so I go to church when I go to church out once a year. Which reminds me, all you people that go to church every Sunday, stay home on Easter and give us people who only go once a year a chance. Anyway, so there I am, I'm at church, and I'm feeling uncomfortable and I'm out of place. And, uh, and I... You know, it's just not a good experience for me. So, okay. And then we have, uh, oh, I don't care, St. Patrick's Day. Uh, it's a great day. Uh, a lot of people get really, really drunk and crash their cars into each other and kill innocents. And um, they put green food coloring in their food, which makes it look really appetizing. And, Oh, yeah, I've forgotten I'm not Irish, so... Well, okay, I'm part Irish, but the part that's Irish doesn't celebrate. Anyway, so... And the other thing, this wearing of the green stuff, what happens if you're a Protestant Irishman? Then you wear orange. You know, you see? So they're not even covering everything there. Of course, then why would the Protestants celebrate St. Patrick's Day? That's... I hadn't thought of that. Anyway, I guess what I'm trying to say is, is any holiday you name... Thanksgiving is the only one that was designed specifically for men. Now, fellas, think about this. While you're laying in bed on Thursday morning, sleeping the sleep, your wife, your girlfriend, your sister, your mother, has gotten up at 4.30, 5 o'clock to start the turkey. And she starts cooking then, and she's still cooking right up until... 11, 12, 1 o'clock, when you finally sit down to a fabulous meal, a feast. At which point, you're expected to gorge yourself on goodies. <clears throat> then, when you've eaten so much that you can hardly move, you stumble your way into the living room and flop down on the couch where you are expected to watch football for the rest of the day. What other holiday gives you that? Oh, and then there's also, you have the leftovers. So there's turkey and ham sandwiches for another, what, five or six days. So it's fabulous. Anyway, you look at it, Thanksgiving for men is the single best holiday there is. And I, for one, think we should all give thanks for that. Oh, yeah. And so remember, from my family to your families, Happy Thanksgiving.